Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the role of the ozone layer. You should then be able to describe how chlorofluorocarbons are linked to ozone destruction. And this is for the OCR and AQA specs. Students following the OCR spec also need to describe the role of nitrogen oxide radicals in ozone depletion. We're going to start by looking at the role of the ozone layer and how ozone's formed. We're then going to look at the reactions which can lead to the destruction of ozone. And I'd recommend that you learn all of the equations that I show in this video. Okay, now the surface of the Earth is constantly bombarded with ultraviolet radiation in sunlight. UV radiation can damage DNA, so too much exposure to UV can be harmful to humans and is linked to skin cancer. Now in the atmosphere there's a region called the ozone layer. This is found in the stratosphere around 20 to 40 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The ozone layer contains a relatively high concentration of the chemical ozone. Ozone has the symbol O3. The ozone layer absorbs a great deal of the ultraviolet radiation from the sun before it can reach the Earth's surface. So the ozone layer protects living organisms from excessive UV exposure. You need to be able to describe how the ozone layer does this. In the stratosphere, UV radiation causes the double bond in oxygen molecules to break like this. In this reaction we form two oxygen radicals. And remember that a radical is a species with an unpaired electron. You'll notice that I'm not showing the unpaired electron in the radicals, but you need to remember that they are still radicals. We can also show this reaction in a simpler form like this. Now an oxygen radical reacts with an oxygen molecule to form a molecule of ozone. Now if this was the only reaction taking place, then ozone levels would continuously increase. However, an ozone molecule can absorb ultraviolet light, turning back to an oxygen radical and an oxygen molecule. And this absorption of UV radiation is how the ozone layer protects us. Now because ozone's formed and broken down at the same rate, the amount of ozone in the ozone layer should remain constant. However, certain chemicals can cause ozone in the ozone layer to be broken down. These chemicals are called chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs. And I'm showing you an example here. CFCs are haloalkanes. Now, CFCs are very stable molecules, and that's because of the high bond enthalpy of the carbon to halogen bonds. CFCs are also relatively non toxic. In the past, CFCs were produced in vast quantities and were used in a range of applications, for example in fridges and freezers. However, scientists later discovered that CFCs could cause the destruction of the ozone layer. CFCs make their way up to the stratosphere. Once in the stratosphere, ultraviolet radiation causes a carbon to chlorine bond to break. Scientists call this process photodissociation. This is homolytic fission and produces a chlorine radical, which is highly reactive. The next stage involves two steps. These are called propagation step one and propagation step two. In propagation step one, a chlorine radical reacts with a molecule of ozone. This produces an oxygen molecule plus a highly reactive chlorine monoxide radical. In propagation step two, the chlorine monoxide radical reacts with an oxygen radical. As we saw earlier, oxygen radicals are constantly formed in the stratosphere. This produces a chlorine radical plus an oxygen molecule. Now the chlorine radical from step two can go back and trigger step one again. So in effect, the chlorine radicals are acting as a catalyst for this reaction. Alternatively, the chlorine monoxide radical can react with an ozone molecule instead. But again, a chlorine radical is produced and the cycle continues. Because of this cycle, one CFC molecule can lead to the destruction of many thousands of ozone molecules. Now, many scientific organizations provided evidence that CFCs were leading to the destruction of the ozone layer. And this led to CFCs being phased out and less harmful alternatives developed. Now, ozone can also be destroyed by nitrogen oxide radicals. These are formed by lightning and from aircraft. And if you're following the OCR spec, then you need to learn these reactions. The nitrogen monoxide radical reacts with ozone to produce the nitrogen dioxide radical plus an oxygen molecule. The nitrogen dioxide radical then reacts with an oxygen radical. 
This forms another nitrogen monoxide radical plus an oxygen molecule. As you can see, this takes place in a cycle similar to the one we saw before. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe the link between radicals and ozone destruction.